Gotta rock, we are a nation We just need European representation Good evening and welcome to my latest project. This you see here is a mural for the University of Gibraltar. Um, I'm doing it somewhere else. Kindly, a space kindly donated by the Gibraltar um, Cultural Services. And the, I've got to thank the Alwani Foundation, the Kishing Alwani Foundation, for sponsoring the event, or the, the product, uh, project. So now the first thing to do is obviously we've laid out the planks. It measures eight, eight point something meters by three or 2.38 meters. So it's a, a big mural. First thing we have to do, lay the planks one next to each other. You can see them, they're all numbered. And now I've got to prime them. So I bought a, a nice primer, acrylic primer. I'll give it a couple of coats and then I'll get back. The title I've, I've thought for this mural is Nan Plus Ultra, from the post-classical Greek. Uh, it's a term I, I, I enjoy and I like. It means, uh, uh, well, it, it, the actual thing is, let there be no sailing beyond. That's where it comes from. But it's become a, a different thing nowadays of uh, uh, Nan Plus Ultra. It's uh, the perfection, nothing better than that. Uh, it also means a, a, a prohibition of, of uh, not doing something. So I, I thought it was quite a, 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 a good title. Also, the fact that the mural's located at the at the, at the uh, lighthouse or near the lighthouse in the University of Gibraltar, that's where it all it actually the term comes from. When ships got to 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 that point. Uh, it was thought at the time that the world ended there, so it was like, let there be no sailing beyond. So all that thing seemed made, made the title uh, uh, appropriate. Okay, the primer has already been uh, uh, laid, the, uh, the priming coat. Now my next step is what to put on top the primer which is the hardest bit I've been asked by the university that they wanted a Gibraltar theme now that is a very uh, uh, subjective uh, idea something to do with Gibraltar my first step at the moment is to go to visit my friend Anthony Pitaluga the archivist and source some material get some photographs uh, understand a bit about our history in order to be able to portray something about the history of Gibraltar on a mural. Article 10 of the Treaty of Utrecht. Well, well, 1805, era the Battle of Trafalgar. Yo te voy a mandar un email con los topics que estamos haciendo aquí y quiero que, si puede, me ayude y me, me a buscar. Tres, cuatro fotos, porque si, si me... Sí, si, sí, si, tú también. Sí, 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 eso es lo que pasa aquí. Que there's, there's, there's too much and you have to have a no, double no, discipline. I've got to bring you it down a, por cada panel, diez, como mucho. Eh, Jibor Tarek. Espérate, espérate, eso hay que decirlo. Sí, bueno, pero Jibor Tarek tenemos ahí una controversia con Jibor Tarek porque... Porque Jibor Tarek... Tarek, as such, los nombres de las personas es not allowed in, in Islam de usar. Y entonces Tarik, Jibble es mountain, y Tarik es el nombre de una persona. Pero, pero, having researched this, I have found that Tarig, with G, is path. Montaña del path into Spain, para la conquista, 
Um, mm. Nombre de persona not allowed. <laughs> We're uh, on day two of a mural. We've given it three coats, three coats of primer because the, the marine ply sucks a lot of uh, the painting. So we've given it three coats. And then I've, uh, I've done uh, my first creative input into the, the mural is I've laid down a whole uh, strip, as it were, of chronicles, Gibraltar chronicles. Now, there's a reason behind it. The, the chronicles are all on the same day. So in a way, I'm trying to already inculcate uh, an idea into the mural. It's about Gibraltar and what Gibraltar stands. I'm already, and I work in layers. I've, I've always worked in layers. My first layer is a frozen a day of Gibraltar. Last week, uh, uh, August, one day, one chronicle, I've laid them all out, I've stuck them on the mural and now I'm going to cover it with a, a, a thin coat of white to, to diffuse the effect. I wanted uh, a bit in the background, I wanted uh, uh, hidden away but there's already a day in the life of Gibraltar in the mural. As I'm painting, I, I realize I like, I, I like the idea of leaving certain areas unpainted just to make it a bit more interesting. And at, at the end, hardly any of this would be visible, but it, it's there. And for me, that's enough. It's a memory, it's a, a, a token of a day, as it were. See, I'm leaving that bit untouched. And that, that already sets the scenes for the rest of the mural. I'm already getting vibes, I'm already getting ideas of what to do next. I'm actually thinking of, because I think the, the color scheme I've been given for, for this is basically blues and ochres. And already I'm thinking maybe blues at the top signifying sky and ochres at the bottom. And in between blues and oaks, where the, the sea meets the, the, the earth, and that, that sort of uh, uh, concept. But again, it's all wishy washy at the moment, and there's nothing written in stone as yet. There's a long, very long process for this to be completed. But it's, it's looking interesting. I'm getting good vibes. And I'm just going to go over the whole thing again. Some areas covered, others... I mean, I'm, I'm trying to... Where, where the newspaper meets the board, I'm trying to give it a, a stronger coat. For effects. And like I said, this, all of this would be almost lost. But it's there. Uh, and that's the advantage of working with theirs. At the end, you'll be able to pinpoint or pick up areas of interest and go, wow, oh, look at that, it says uh, whatever, a news item. That's the effect I want to get. And now the rest of today, once I finish this, I want to invest in, in uh, experimenting with colour. Try to get some sheens of colour or glazers as it were. So I want to experiment with, with a few ideas so as to get some interesting glazers. The project started about a year, possibly over a year ago, when my friend uh, uh, and Vice-Chancellor of the, the University at the time, Daniela Tilbury, uh, asked me to come up with ideas for, 
for a mural. For, uh, the mural had to go in the, the new common room that would be sponsored by the Kishin Alwani Foundation and they wanted to revamp the, the, uh, the university common room and had thought of doing a mural. So that's, that's when the project started. Okay, now is the time for a bit of a experimenting. Um, I, I believe that in art you've got to push the boundaries and this is something that I've never tried before. I'm going to try it, I'm going to go for it early days. If it doesn't work, I'll just have to prime the whole thing again. Basically, what I'm doing here, I'm mixing a bit of powder paint, school powder paint, with water. But I've tried that before and when it dries, if you add, if you add water to it, in effect, if you pass a paintbrush with water, you, you take it with you. So I'm going to do one thing that I haven't done before and it's mix it in with uh, a bit of PVA glue, diluted PVA glue, right? So basically, I've got some PVA glue which is 50-50 uh, mixed with water. And now this, I'm going to just literally throw it over my mural. It, it works in different levels. First of all, it eliminates the, the, the idea of, uh, you know, when you, when you look after your piece and you, you're really careful that you don't spoil it, that you don't do anything wrong with it. And, and I'm going to do away with that and I'm going to apply the paint as if I'd done this before loads of times and see what happens. I'm just going to literally see what happens. I'm going to mix it well and now I'm, I'm going to throw it over, the, uh, over the, the, the mural. I don't know what effect I'm going to get but I'll, gauging from that and, and judging from that I'll be able to use it in the, in the future, in the, the, the next stages or not. So. You don't lose anything. You might feel like you've ruined it, but there's nothing there now. There's just newspapers and uh, primer. So I can go back to that again, if I wanted to. And I like that effect. Wow. Que bueno. <laughs> At the time, uh, I only had one condition, and that was that I had to have total freedom. And, and I, 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 first thing I said, I did not want to have a, t a theme imposed or, or, or a subject matter imposed on me. I had to have total freedom. And, and Daniela at the time said she agreed with me as long as I showed her what I had in mind. And I remember I, I took a, a, a book by an, a, an artist that I, I like, Antonio Saura, and I showed her a, a similar mural, much bigger than mine, and she liked the concept, but that's all she wanted to, to know, the concept. And that made me happy, you know, it was okay, and from then on we proceeded. Right now I'm just preparing uh, a bit of PVA glue, 50-50. And I'm going to stick uh, a few chronicles on the center piece where I already have layers of chronicles. I just want to see a bit of color coming through. So uh, I'm not going to really think much about it and just stick a few chronicles the same day, right? The same chronicle, the same day. So I'm still working on the same day. You see, I'm just adding bits and pieces of chronicle and I'm using them as colour, not as uh, reading material. I've cut out pieces randomly and they're just adding a bit of colour to the mural. Paper is also colour. It's not necessarily reading material. Just place them anywhere 
Well, anyway, that looks right. I'm just going to finish this and then I'll go to the next stage, which is colour. You see, th this is arbitrary, or arbitrarily done. This is uh, the same blue as that, and I, I hadn't noticed it. Or maybe I did, my uh, subconscious did. It's just a touch of colour. The experiment I did yesterday uh, with the powder paint worked a treat. And as you can see, the blue, it has fixed permanently on the canvas. So I can carry on with this technique. This basically means mixing it with a bit of water and then the PVA glue. It's a lovely yellow and the painting is crying out loud for yellow. So I'm going to give it yellow. I've got a bit of water here that I've used to clean my brush. Now that should be enough. <coughs> has to be mixed perfectly and I'll do the usual as you can see I'm recycling any any containers any I mean this is yogurt a uh, uh, container I always wash them and keep them because they're so useful for anything, for mixing paint, for paint, for whatever you want to use them. And artists usually are hoarders and storers and whatever. I'm going to add yellow. She said, excuse me, I forget my life will change before all. It turns into a less stained and forgotten drawers. Barely touching hands There we go Wrapped in a romance With ego with laughter Worth the cure We get it and I Can't nice. bear to see Dimming lights And fading dreams While the stars Yeah, they still shine for us for the two of us First time I've walked on a canvas She said forgive me if I choose First time I've done a, to take a large time canvas off to explore. It's great fun One more time Pardon me for all I'm curious and I'm hungry for all and This one I've spread out Barely touching hands There we go Wrapped in a romance With ego If laughter were the cure We'd be dead And I can't bear to see Demi This is a wonderful tool You can buy anywhere Any hardware store I got these from Magadona In Spain They're very cheap I'm going to try this, so I'm going to go for it. If it doesn't work, I'll, I'll change it all. And I can't bear to see Turn to dust Turn to anything Less than I had Less than I had Less than I had So goodbye Hope you do Dimming lights and fading dreams. 
The brief was quite a simple one. Uh, I had to come up with a mural measuring 8.54 meters by 2.38, I think it was. And uh, there was only one condition, that the mural had to respect the color scheme of the common room. The common room furniture had been purchased or was in, in the process of being purchased and the color scheme for it had already been chosen. So, and I had to produce a mural that would be fitted in the common room. Uh, it would have to be delivered there and all the necessary uh, uh, requirements for it to be adhered to, to the wall had to be supplied by myself. So that was the simplest of briefs. I found this blue here at, at the, the garage I'm using. Uh, it's probably been le left behind by, by someone else and it's probably meant to be a sky blue for one of the props for a theatre uh, piece or something. But it's ideal. I love the colour and I'm going to use it. I'm going to mix it well now. I'll add a bit of PA glue as usual to make it acrylic, make it uh, plasticky so that it doesn't, you know, crack. But that's it, so let's go for it. At this stage it's all about adding colour and starting on a design, roughly. I, I, I mean, I haven't done a, a dummy, I just have an idea in my head. And it's such a difficult idea to put down on paper that I'd rather not do it and just go straight to the canvas and I make the adjustments as and when uh, I need them and, and the painting usually talks back to you it, it tells you whether it's ready, what it needs, what colour and I can feel that and I can feel the painting speaking to me and it, 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 I'm, I'm looking at it now and it's beginning to look great but I'm, I'm already seeing what it's asking me to do which is really to muddle the colours but anyway this is almost ready, almost ready, and I'm going for it. I'm just going to... I love house paints, I love them. I don't know what it is, but I, I prefer them to oils, to acrylics, to, to anything. I love the texture, I love the consistency, and, and they're great paints. This paint has completely a completely different consistency than the other one. And I'm going to use that. Now it needs some squeegeeing. A man in a lighthouse watches the world go by Like an engine she rolled Exploding onto the shore The brief was an open one, but I knew what I didn't want and I didn't want my painting to be about rock apes and lighthouses and it had to be a Gibraltar theme. Now another thing that was crucial, or, or, or at least for me, was the fact that the mural had to go in the common room, the heart of the university where students of all nationalities and congregate for coffee and, and drinks and chat. So I had to do something that, that would connect, especially with young people. So that was my own, I wanted something that, was re that would be really fresh and, and, and uh, energetic and, and, and uh, express values that are, are, are more abstract in a way, but that would, ref would reflect uh, or, or rather expose Gibraltar to them, uh, make it a point of a conversation, starting conversation, but wouldn't really interfere in their lives.
There's a time and a place where everything seems so easy. In this time and a place, nothing could let you down. But the truth hits everyone, though it's hard to take. And if I could have my way, I'd sail away with you. All the times that we thought that nothing would come between us. Fools to believe nothing could bring us down. But the truth hits everyone. Though it's hard to take And if I could have my way I'd sail away with you Come sail with me Come sail